down, watch out. You got a flatbed at mile marker 595. He's on the shoulder and he's out of the truck. Give him some space. Unless the load out. has shifted. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. Move the fuck over. Dangerous situation on a narrow two-lane highway. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. What you're about to see is something that I try to avoid at all costs. Westbound, watch out. You got a flatbed at mile marker 595. He's on the shoulder and he's out of the truck. Give him some space. Unless the load out. had shifted and something was about to fall off, there's no reason for him to stop right there. He was less than a mile from a truck stop where he could safely do this. I understand they can freak you the fuck out to look in your mirrors and see straps loose, but guys, you have to take your safety into consideration. In my opinion, this was really reckless and dangerous and completely unnecessary. All right, guys, you heard it for yourself. So you see the video. You see the situation. What's going on here? What's going on here? I, I know you guys see that there's a lot to unpack. Number one, she's clearly in the right lane. Clearly could have got over. Maybe. I mean, I, from what I see, she probably saw him maybe about a mile, maybe about a half a mile away. Could have slowed down to the point that she could have got over before getting up there near that uh, disabled flatbed. Now, unfortunately, when she got like real, real close to him, she wasn't able to get over as you guys see you know there's there was two semi trucks that literally went past could she got over like maybe about a half a mile maybe about a mile and a half i mean you i mean i i could see you know from the view of her dash cam i mean i i could see maybe about a little bit down the ways and i'd see that there's a stalled out truck on my shoulder. Was that dangerous? Yeah. But look at it this way. Let's look at let's let's look at the the stalled out semi truck. But before we do that, let's hear what this driver has to say about it. <laughs> What you're about to see is something that I, I try to move the fuck over. Not that hard. You see them more than a mile away. Jesus. No wonder you drive for prime. You can't move the fuck over. Been watching this video all night. But this shit right here gives us truck drivers a bad name. You all can sit this and watch the original video. Come at me sideways, I don't care. That shit right there makes us a bad man. Well, what do you guys think? What do you think about what he just said? He says it gives us a bad name. He said that she could have moved over. He also said that, you know, maybe she saw him about a mile away. And if that was the case, she could have moved over. Let's get back into this edit. Well, actually, as you guys can see, he wasn't stalled out. He had to get out and, you know, ratchet, ratchet down his securement. Now, was that a good idea to do that right there? Now, if it was in an emergency situation and maybe a DOT or a trooper came by, he probably could have got a ticket. Ain't that right there, it's considered a sitting duck? Right there? That is considered a sitting duck. 
she couldn't move over she couldn't get over so she had to literally slow down to the point of stopping so she won't hit that man right who's in the wrong who's in the wrong here is it her for not getting over early enough or is it him for stopping to you know secure his load now maybe y'all saying hey maybe the you know he looked in his mirrors and the straps was you know coming to loose or loose or whatever the case and he had to stop so he can make sure that his load is secure granted i i i grant you that see i'm not a flat batter so you know there's probably might be a whole number of reasons why he had to pull over on that stretch of the highway to secure his load so again drivers i i ask you though i i ask you who's who that fault here is it her for not getting over early enough or is it the other flatbed driver for stopping sitting duckish securing his load that's my thoughts drivers let me know yours in the comments below